Salesforce is the world's number one customer relationship management platform. They help businesses grow by helping them understand their customer needs better. Salesforce is used by many top companies like Facebook, Google, Twitter, HCL and many more. It has a customer base of over 150,000 companies comprising of large scale, medium scale and small scale enterprises. Now before we get into any more details about Salesforce, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will understand what is Salesforce and then see who is a Salesforce developer. Next, we will take a look at the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce developer and the skills required to become one. Moving on, we'll see the market trends and salary of a Salesforce developer and then conclude our session by knowing how to become a Salesforce developer. Now moving on to a first topic, what is Salesforce? Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now customer relationship management means a strategy or a technique which businesses or organization use to administer their interaction with their customers. CRM systems allows organization to manage their customer relationship and interaction through a single tool, which provides them a better customer experience and improves business outcomes. Now Salesforce services allows businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with customers, partners and potential customers. Initially Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM company and now it provides various software solutions and a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom applications. Salesforce offers a variety of products for companies such as Salesforce Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Service Cloud, Community Cloud, Analytic Cloud, App Cloud and a few more services. Each of the service has its own functionality and can be used by different teams in a company. Like the sales team can use the sales cloud, the support team can use the service cloud and so on. Now I guess after this you have some idea about Salesforce. Now let us move on to the next topic and see who is a Salesforce developer. Now a Salesforce developer is an individual who programs software or application solution on the Salesforce platform. They analyze company's processes develop CRM workflows and build custom application for specific business needs. They work collaboratively with the other team members of the development team in order to create a custom scalable process for the company. Now a Salesforce developer must also collaborate with the colleagues in the sales, customer support and marketing team in order to translate business needs into solution using the right tools. Once these solutions are created, Salesforce developers are also responsible for quality analysis testing, debugging and developing user documentation. Now that you know who is a Salesforce developer, let us move on to a next topic and see some of the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce developer. The responsibility of a Salesforce developer does not just include programming. They also have to gather, analyze and document functional and technical requirements from the new clients and also solve production issues reported by the old clients. The next responsibility is they translate business requirements into a well-architected solution that uses the best features of Salesforce platform and products. Next, one of the main responsibility is to build Salesforce application using Apex and Visual Force and also leverage the full capacity of Salesforce platform. Next, Salesforce developer have to collaborate with various other teams like the sales team, marketing team, service team to translate business needs into solution using the right tools. They are responsible for developing custom application using salesforce.com and integrating it with other systems. They should apply the best practices and design patterns to build their applications. Their next responsibility is to test and troubleshoot whenever needed. The developers are mostly the decision makers regarding testing and troubleshooting. They handle the process of Salesforce development which includes coding, troubleshooting and managing as well. The next responsibility of a Salesforce developer is they should provide technical assistance to end users for troubleshooting bug fixes for enhancements and to guide them on how to go about things that they don't understand. Now these were some of the roles and responsibilities of a Salesforce developer. Now let us take a look at what are the skills required to become a Salesforce developer. The first skill is analytic skills. Salesforce developer needs an analytic mindset to identify a client's business problems or needs and then to design and produce a solution according to these requirements. The next skill is communication skills. Now as a Salesforce developer, you will be expected to communicate complex information to people who might not have much computer knowledge and also have to answer the questions while giving clear instructions. 
you also have to communicate with your team members and people of other department. Now the next and the most important skill is development skill. Now this should obviously be on the list. Now as a Salesforce developer, you're expected to be skilled in developing application and have knowledge about few of the Salesforce technology like Visual Force, Apex programming language and lightning component framework. The next skill required to become a Salesforce developer is time management. Now a Salesforce developer has to follow the business timelines and schedules and complete the assigned work by the given deadline. They often work on multiple projects and ensure the work produced meets best practices. The next skill which is required is problem solving abilities. Now a Salesforce developer should be able to identify and troubleshoot issues and fault as they arise. They should be able to solve end users doubt and queries as well. Now these were some of the skills required to become a Salesforce developer. Let us move on to the next topic and see some of the salaries and market trend for a Salesforce developer. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce developer in India is 4,88,000 and a senior Salesforce developer can earn up to 10 lakhs per annum. Likewise, the average salary for a Salesforce developer in the United States is $99,300. And according to Glassdoor, there are 1,530 job openings for a Salesforce developer in India with Bangalore having the highest of 431 job openings. In the US, there are more than 4,000 job vacancies for a Salesforce developer. Now these are only from one website. There can be many more job openings around you. Now talking about Salesforce, they forecast interesting and promising trends such as increased Salesforce adoption by small companies, increased emphasizes on field service and the internet of things. They are also planning to simplify the app in order to appeal to a wider selection of users. And according to the latest financial report, the revenue for the year 2020 surpassed $17 billion, reaching the annual Salesforce growth rate of almost 29%. Earlier this year, the company's executive predicted that the revenue would grow by 23% and reach $21.1 billion by the end of 2021. So you see, Salesforce is growing and is not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you're planning to start your career in Salesforce, now would be a good time. Now moving on to a final topic for today, how to become a Salesforce developer. First of all, there is no prerequisite to become a Salesforce developer, but companies do ask for a bachelor's degree in computer science or some similar discipline. Now, before you start preparing for a Salesforce developer job role, you should have good knowledge of at least one high level programming language and some basic understanding of Salesforce. So if you have just started your journey in Salesforce or are willing to start, I would highly recommend you to start learning about a few Salesforce technology like Visual Force. Visual Force is a markup language for creating custom Salesforce pages. Now to build application on the Salesforce platform, you need to know how to develop user interface and write application logic. As a Salesforce developer, you can develop the user interface using Visual Force. It's just like using JavaScript or AngularJS framework to build user interface for your website. The same way you can use Visual Force to design and build user interface for your Salesforce application. It can be used to build email templates, to develop mobile user interfaces, to generate PDFs of data stored in Salesforce, to override a standard Salesforce page, to develop custom tabs for your applications and many more. Now this was about Visual Force. The next technology you should learn about is the Salesforce Apex. Now Apex is a proprietary language developed by Salesforce.com. After developing the user interface using Visual Force, a Salesforce developer needs to know how to add business logic to the application. Now you can write controller code and add business logic to your application using the Apex programming language. Basically, Apex is an object-oriented programming language that allows you to execute flow and transaction control statement on the Force.com platform. Now the best part is Apex syntax is 70% similar to that of Java. So if you have already worked with Java, you can easily learn Apex. With Apex, you can add web and email services to your application, perform complex business processes. It can also be used to add complex validation rules to your application and be used to add many more custom logics. These tools allow Salesforce developer to create custom application and processes within the CRM. They also allow to customize visual layout, providing users with the most relevant experience possible. They also help in integrating third-party platforms troubleshooting technical issues and many more functionalities. Along with this tool, it will be very helpful if you learn JavaScript, HTML5, CSS programming languages and a few web development tools like Eclipse and Git. The next step is to learn from online courses. 
There are a variety of online courses and tutorials to learn the basic and advanced aspect of Salesforce development. Now the next step is preparing and getting a few Salesforce certification. Now Salesforce certification gives credibility to your Salesforce knowledge and validates your expertise in Salesforce. Now a point to remember here is before you become a Salesforce developer, learn the basics of Salesforce administrator as it can be very helpful. For the certification part, you can start with the Salesforce administrator certification and even write the advanced Salesforce administrator certification. After this, prepare for the Salesforce app builder certification and the Salesforce platform one certification. Now what certification will help you with is, it will improve your knowledge and can be very helpful during your job interviews as organization needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. Now these were some of the tips that will help you become a Salesforce developer. And with this we have come to the end of our session. I hope this session was helpful. Happy learning.